now on BBC World News, Sport Today brings you all today's breaking sports news, action and results. Hello there, I'm Nick Marshall McCormack and welcome to a special edition of Sports Today. India's little master Sachin Tendulkar has announced he'll retire from all forms of cricket. Tributes coming in from around the world. He's a phenomenon in world cricket and I think his, his, his contribution to world cricket has been fantastic. We'll take a detailed look at Tendulkar's career and find out why he's the most worshipped player in international cricket. Hello there and welcome to this Sachin Tanduka special. India's greatest ever cricketer has announced he'll retire from international cricket after playing his 200th test against the West Indies next month. At 5 foot 5 or 165 centimetres, Tanduka wanted to be a fast bowler when he was growing up, but he was rejected by Dennis Lilly in 1987 because he was too short. So Tanduka picked up the bat and developed into one of the most feared batsmen in the world. The little master they call him, the man Sir Donald Bradman thought looked most like him. Joe Wilson looks back at Tanduka's incredible career. No man has ever done more with a simple cricket bat. Quite simply, Sachin Tendulkar has scored more runs than anyone else in the international game ever. In India, his status is more than statistical. The devotion of his followers crosses into the spiritual. And those who know Tendulkar well admire not just his cricket talent, but his ability to ignore the adoration. Just his idea about the game, uh, the way he uh, held together his cricket, he led his life, very simple, very simple, never got carried away with the adulation he gets in India and overseas. And, and, and I've seen the best part of Sachin Tendulkar for 14 years we've played together. We started school cricket and uh, I captained him for six years, so that was a huge honour for me. Uh, fantastic player. Tendulkar on 98. Well, Tendelka made his first century for India in August 1990 against England. He was just 17. By his mid-30s, he'd become both celebrity and statesman. When India reeled after the Mumbai attacks in 2008, it was Tendulka who appeared on television, telling his country he played for India now more than ever. In pure batting terms, well, there's always debate about who is the greatest. I think it's easy to forget Brian Lara, who didn't play as long as Sash. He got out earlier. But those two are the best two players by a long way in the last 20 years. Well, for many, especially in India, Tendulkar is just unsurpassable. And the two test matches that remain in his career will be an opportunity for an outpouring of emotion, which will make this seem tame. Joe Wilson, BBC News. Well, let's go to our sports correspondent, Joe Wilson, now in New Broadcasting House in London. Joe, what's your greatest memory of him playing? Well, Nick, I'd have to think back to the 2008 series when England went over to play a couple of test matches. Now, put that in its context, that was very shortly after the Mumbai attacks. There was huge tension about that series. A lot of questions about whether England would actually go from a security point of view. Test match in Chennai, India chasing down a huge total in their second innings. Sachin Tendulkar hits a four, not only to win the match, but to bring up his hundred. Now, throughout that test match and in the days that preceded it, on television in India, every time you watched an ad break on virtually any channel, Tendulkar appeared. He was looking to camera, similar way that I am now, and he was talking to the people of India. He said, I play for India now more than ever. It really struck me at the time, Nick, that the country needed somebody to try and compose the nation almost. And the man they turned to wasn't a politician, it wasn't a Bollywood star, it was a cricketer. So in that week alone, I guess he cemented his status not only as a batsman, uh, but also as a statesman. So that is probably my outstanding memory of his career. I think that's when he was 35. And Joe, you mentioned that, that Indians love him, but he's also um, revered and worshipped around the world, isn't he? Why is that? Well, I think in particular in India, but also to a large degree around the world, what really people respect and admire about Tendulkar is that combination of his ability and his humility. Um, you know, the adoration that he gets in India in particular, it would be so easy for it to would go to his head and I think there are other Indian cricketers uh, without naming any who people in India see as maybe they start believing in their own hype a little bit. Sachin Tendulkar uh, has never done that so I think that in particular is, um, is why he's gained such respect and 
such a reputation in India in particular. In, in terms of what other cricketers have said about him, you will find a list as long as your arm of cricketers who've given tributes to to Sachin Dendulkar. I think, Nick, the one that really matters is this one. Um, I saw him playing on television and was struck by his technique, so I asked my wife to come and look at him. I never saw myself play, but I feel that this player is playing much the same as I used to play. You know who said that, Nick? Don Bradman. If he says that about you, what else do you need? What an honour. I, I can remember the Don saying that. In mm. 2002, Joe, Wisden, which we all know around the world to be the cricket bible, realistically, they voted Sachin Tendulkar second best batsman in the history mm. of test and one-day cricket. If the poll was held again in 2013, where do you think he'd sit? Well, it's interesting. Wisden has just reached its 150th anniversary, hasn't it, Nick? So it's charted the whole development of international cricket. I don't think you can put anybody above Bradman. Personally, I think Bradman is the greatest sportsman of all time, let alone cricketer. So I think that you'd have to put Tendulkar behind him. Of course, it was a very different era. Uh, Don Bradman never played one day internationals, which, of course, Tendulkar did. And interesting, as we move into the kind of new era of cricket, 2020 may become the predominant form of the game. And I think Tendulkar only played uh, one 2020 match uh, internationally. In, in his career. So I would put Tendulkar um, just behind Bradman. It's interesting, Jeff Boycott in the report there uh, kind of put him on a similar level to Brian Lara. I think, Nick, to be honest, the other um, cricketer I would mention in a kind of similar breath, similar, similar sentence is actually the Englishman W.G. Grace back in the 19th century who really uh, re-established the boundaries of cricket. What you could do as a batsman when he scored hundreds, people couldn't quite believe it. So he really established the popularity uh, of cricket in England and then on a global stage in the 19th century. So I guess my one, two, three would be Bradman, Tendulkar, and WG Grace. How does that sound, Nick? Yeah, can't really be beaten. Thank you very <laughs> much, Joe Wilson, for the moment. Let's take the reaction in India to Tendulkar's announcement. I'm joined now by Mukesh Sharma. Mukesh, you're in our India Bureau in Delhi. There's a 2020 international that's about to start in Rajkot, uh, just over an hour's time, I think, between India and Australia. Tendulkar will no doubt be a hot topic of the stands. Why is Tendulkar India's greatest? I mean, if you talk about statistics, as we were just mentioning, uh, 100 international centuries, that is a great achievement uh, which he reached. And apart from that, uh, more than 50,000 international runs. I mean, these are just statistics. But apart from cricket, if we talk about S uh, Sachin Tendulkar as a sports person, he has inspired not only uh, cricketers, but other sports person as well. I mean, uh, whether it's uh, we're talking about, um, you know, uh, Sanya Mirza, who's uh, who's the main uh, tennis player of India, uh, Leander Pace, or if we talk about Saina Nehwal, the ace shuttler, I mean, all of them are great fan of Sachin Tendulkar. So, I mean, he has inspired a whole generation of sports person, uh, not only cricketer, I would say, and that's a great ability. And in terms of gentleman's game, which we call uh, cricket is, he has been termed as as the gentleman, you know, who has represented the game very well in terms of the uh, it being the gentleman's game and and uh, one of the best cricketers India has produced. Mukesh, a gentleman and a tough fighter. I remember his test debut at 16 years old. He got hit in the mouth by Wakar Yunus, wiped it off, blood all over his shirt, kept on playing. You know, we always wanted to be Tanduka when we were playing cricket in the backyard growing up. What's your greatest memory of his career? I still remember, uh, you know, his Pakistan series, uh, his first series in 1989, that was. And at that time, uh, Abdul Qadir was uh, one of the greatest spinners. Uh, it was a one-day international in Peshawar. Uh, it rained and the match washed out. But what happened, because uh, the spectators were there, so the organizers decided to have a, a you know, charity match, just, just so that the, the spectators who were there can actually have a match. And that match, Sachin Tendulkar hit four sixes on Abdul Qadir's balls. And I, I did interview Abdul Qadir uh, recently, and he still mentions, mentions that inning, and he still remembers that. And he, he did say that, you know, no one ever did, no one ever hit four sixes uh, uh, on, on my bowling ever before or ever after that. So that is one of the greatest innings uh, which I remember because he was just, he just entered. And Pakistan, in a Pakistan match, if you talk about it, you know, the arch rivals, there's so much of pressure. There's much more than uh, cricket in, into those matches. And performing like that, I mean, great shots. Those four sixes, I still remember. Th those uh, those balls and that match is still very fresh in my memory. 1989 Peshawar One Day International.
The highlights reels will be coming out. Thank you very much. Mukesh Sharma, the sports editor in our BBC Delhi Bureau. Thank you very much. Well, the social media circles are abuzz online with lots of reaction to Tendulkar's uh, retirement announcement. Uh, here's some of the reaction we've got so far. Tom Moody, the former Australian top order batsman, wrote, Time waits for no one as Tendulkar says goodbye. Uh, been a privilege to play and coach against the little master, one of the greats. And Michael Vaughan, the former England captain, wrote, one of the greatest ever. Sachin is retiring. One of my heroes and an absolute joy to play against. Akash Chopra, the former Indian batsman, said, great player and a brilliant human being. Thanks for the memories. Privileged to have shared the dressing room with you. And Ravi Bapara, the England batsman, 50,000 runs for Sachin Tandukar. Crazy. Don't think another batsman will score that many runs, even with his Xbox and PlayStation runs added. Well, let's go back to our sports correspondent, Joe Wilson, a new broadcasting house in London, for a little bit more. Joe, you told us about Sir Don Bradman's tribute a little bit earlier. Now, this week we saw the NBA was trying to take some sporting market share in India. Mm. How can Sachin Tendulkar maybe use his, uh, his legacy to keep the game strong in India? Yeah, that's an interesting point. You know, I mean... What, he, what does he do next? I mean, there'll be plenty of people who'd want to usher him into all kinds of roles, Nick, into politics maybe, particularly in Mumbai, in that region of India. There are plenty of people who wish him to go into a sports administrative role. I, I think, for one thing, we will see quite a bit of him here in London because we know that he likes coming to, uh, to London in particular, to England. It's perhaps the place that he can escape the kind of attention that he gets in India. Um, one of the themes that we've been talking about in the last few minutes that Mukesh was alluding to is his modesty and his humility, his almost his quietness as a persona. When I spoke to Surav Ganguly about him, that's how he described him, as a, as a quiet man. I don't think it is his personality which lends itself uh, particularly, really, um, to politics. I think we'll see him much more in perhaps in a, in a charitable sense, and that's something he's done in the last few years, is promoting various charities. If he can link a charitable work uh, to cricket work, I think that's what he, the role that he will play. One thing I'd say to finish off with, Nick, there is a sense of celebration, absolutely, some of the tweets you read. There's also a bit of a sense of relief, because in the last couple of years, we have seen a decline of Tendulkar. The wait for him to get to 100 international centuries seemed to go on forever. Now he's got the perfect opportunity to go out in Mumbai, and I can almost see the queues for tickets for that second test match in November starting from here, Nick. Joe Wilson, our sports correspondent in New Broadcasting, House in London. Thank you very much for wrapping up. Sachin Tendulkar who has announced his retirement from international cricket. Thanks for watching this special edition of Sports Today. Remember, you can get more about the Little Master's career in a breakdown on our website. All the video and career stats there on bbc.com sport. But from me, Nick Marshall-McCormack, and the rest of the Sports Today team, thanks for watching. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.